it's um, Saturday, um, October 10th, so glad it's October, um, 2009. Um, I'm doing one of these little commentaries that um, I am planning on doing more of. Um, the president is going to speak tonight at 8 o'clock, supposedly on gay issues. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start now, and I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to finish the tape after that. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he has to say. A lot of people are saying that I am not objective about him anymore because ha I have met him, and I went to the White House in that whole routine. Uh, but I'm very objective, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff I'm not happy about. Um, it'll be really interesting to see what he has to say tonight and uh, what kind of reception he gets there. Um, so what I'm going to do is, oh by the way, yesterday was a great day at the center. Um, Martha Shelley, who is really um, one of my heroes from the movement, um, who I haven't seen in 40 years, she came uh, to the Gay Center and we had a really great event with her there and it was, hopefully we'll be more in touch. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop this now, and I'm going to resume it after the President's speech, and I'm going to give my uh, commentary, my opinion on it. So um, we'll continue with them. Okay, I finished watching the speech um, about 10 minutes ago, and I'm going to give uh, top of my head thoughts on the whole thing. First of all, I mean, really, what can you say about someone who could charm a T-bone steak out of the mouth of a pit bull? Um, he's a very charming person, and um, everything he says is very sincere sounding, and I believe most of it is sincere. Um, he did make s some specific promises. The, the speech was very, very similar to the one he gave on June 29th um, at the White House. Um, he made specifics. He said he will get rid of don't ask, don't tell. And he alluded, I believe, to, um, I don't think he said he, he would get rid of, he would uh, repeal the Defense of Marriage Act. I think he said he would uh, try his best to do it. I, I can't remember what he said. Like I said, I just watched the speech a couple of minutes ago. Um, I could have done without the Ted Kennedy references. Um, absolutely, Ted Kennedy was a very, very good friend to the LGBT community. No doubt about it whatsoever. But to many people, he is far from a heroic figure. And, um, I don't know, I just could have done without it. What I really was very happy about was um, when um, the president talked about Morty Manfred, who was a very good friend of mine, who I knew very well, and uh, was an absolutely great person. And um, I, I was really happy when, when uh, Obama talk, talked about him. It, got me a little teary-eyed, actually, because Morty, he was a really great person. Um, I definitely, uh, I, don't, I don't know if anybody saw this part, um, but, yeah, I think it was on C-SPAN, too, the, the speech by the uh, president of the Human Rights Commission, um, when he referred to how, something about how much better things are now for us than the last, 10 years. Well, I would have changed that. I would have said from the last 18 years because I know many people consider Bill Clinton uh, sainted, but he was certainly no friend to us uh, giving us Don't Ask, Don't Tell and the Defense of Marriage Act. So, um, yeah, the Bush administration sucked for us and uh, so uh, did the Clinton administration. My opinion, just my opinion, um, the speech was, of course, brilliantly delivered, and 
Maybe when I think about it more and I watch it a couple of more times, I'll have more to say about it. But this is just my offhanded comments immediately after it. And I sort of uh, will try to get this onto my group so people can watch it. Um, okay, this was interesting.